Hey everyone, Jason Jellius, Michigan Realtor. I want to share with you an interesting topic that Realtor Magazine, uh, in conjunction with National Association of Realtors, uh, they put out an article stating that consumers still overestimate down payment requirements. And by the way, I'm going to link that article in the description below here. Uh, but but I wanted, wanted to share this with you because it's very interesting. So they go on to say in this article that the majority of consumers continually mistakenly put or feel that they have to put down 20% on a home when the average amongst all home buyers was actually 12%. Now, I know of some mortgage options, uh, especially for first time home buyers where they can put as little as three and a half percent down and whatnot, but always talk with your lender first if you're looking to purchase a home, okay? Now, they have a chart here. I'm gonna put it up on the screen here and I'm gonna actually go over it just in case you can't see it that well, but basically all buyers, okay, the average down payment was 12%. When you get in, when you break down the age brackets, okay, ages 22 to 30, now these are home buyers, according to National Association of Realtors, ages 22 to 30, the average down payment was 6%. From 31 to 40 in age, the average down payment was 10%. 41 to 55 years of age, the average down payment was 13%. Then it goes on, 56 to 65 years of age, 18%. 66 to 74 years of age, 23%. And then 75 to 95 years of age, 21%. So it goes up as you get older and you're purchasing a home, but then it, it dips down by 2% uh, when you get over the age of 75. And yes, home buyers are in that age bracket. So very interesting article. Just wanted to do a quick video to actually share this with you. This is very, very interesting um, because the assumption is that you have to have 20% down. Now, should you put down 20% on a home? If you can, absolutely. That's the magic number in terms of a down payment on a home because you'll avoid uh, private mortgage insurance and it just it's it's a lot less risk. Lenders see that and tend, they tend to favor the applicant, the home buyer with uh, a better rate. Uh, but just know that it's not a must. And many, many home buyers starting off, especially first time home buyers, uh, they are essentially starting off and getting into the home, building up their careers, uh, you know, doing what they got to do, building up a family. So I uh, just want to share this with you. Hey, be sure to visit my website. It's all about the real estate.com. And if you're not following me on social media, you should be. All those links are in the description below. I appreciate you guys watching.